we are going to access our Cisco Application Policy Infrastructure Controller, or also known as the APIC, the first time. We're going to take a look at the system tab, the dashboard, and also some of the details of our APIC, our controllers. And by the way, these are real hardware, a real ACI devices, because ACI enabled devices are not available in a virtual environment. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host. Name is Dean Armada, and I'm the Cloud and Data Center. Rock star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in Cloud and Data Center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'll consider subscribing. I'm here in our ACI management PC and we're going to access our APIC the first time. So I will just open my Google Chrome, our web browser, and it's starting to connect to two uh, destination. One is our APIC and the second one is our VMware vCenter. So I'm just going to close this because what we just need is to demonstrate how to connect to the APIC and uh, we're going to also highlight some of its uh, configuration. So what I'm going to do is I will log in using student-9 account and I will enter my password there. Now it's trying to log in. Now, as you can see, we're here in our system dashboard. Okay, so this is the first thing that you will see when you log into our APIC. Now, our APIC has already discovered uh, many nodes. We also have uh, three controllers. Okay, so we have APIC 1, 2, and 3. All of them has an IP address, admin state is in service, and operational state are available. Okay, so health state is fully fit. Okay, what else do we see here? Well, as you can see, we are seeing the nodes or the switches. So we have two spines, spines 203 and 204. Okay, we have uh, leaves as well. So we have three leaves only here, he here because um, our topology or our current infrastructure, we're supposed to have four leaves. Okay, so what we're seeing is, or what we're seeing are leaf 106, 107, and 108. Okay, now we are supposed to see leaf 105. And the reason why we're not seeing it, because of this filter. As you can see, we're only filtering those leaves with a score of 99 below. So it seems that the leaf 105 is or has a score of 100. There you go. Okay, so the leaf 105 has a score of 100. Okay, and uh, what else do we see here in... Uh, dashboard well look at this system health now system health you can uh, define or you can zoom uh, one hour one day or all but what we have here is one day so it is the summary of the health status of our um, notes so in total we have 96 score and you will see here uh, we have a score of 0, 0, 050 100 these are arranged vertically. Uh, the 100 is the line on the top, as you can see. And our overall system health score is just a little under that 100 line. Okay, so our system health score is here. This one, the blue line, 96 consistent. And the interval is 5 minutes. So 1615, it was 96. 1620, it was 96. Until the current, which is... 1710 the health score is still 96 okay and uh, we also have system wide count or full count here on the upper right we also have full count by top uh here in the mid right again the controller status we have apic uh one two and three now what we're gonna do is we will go to the controller sub tab which is a specific page for controllers 
is still under the system tab okay and from there we're going to check the controllers in more detail so now i'm in the controller sub tab and if i click the topology here you will see that apic 1 2 and 3 are connected to leaf 107 and leaf 108 and maybe you're thinking where is leaf 105 and leaf 106 well it doesn't uh it's not available here it's not presented and the reason why is apic 1 2 and 3 are not connected on those leaf switches okay it is only connected to leaf 107 and leaf 108 now if i hover my mouse as you can see it also give us um more information so leaf 107 we have the name the node id uh the fabric state we have the model serial number and many more same with leaf 108 now if i hover my mouse on the apic uh, we also got some of the details name model serial number excuse me memory uh, but would it be good if we look at the more detailed information of this controller and all we need to do is click this auto next to controllers and click apic one for example okay so we are now here uh in well first we see the topology page apic one connected to leaf 107 and leaf 108 now what we're going to do next is i'm going to click the general tab here and as you can see we're now getting a more detailed information of apic one so the fabric id is one host name is apic one um controller id is here or controller uuid firmware version is 5.2 2f okay the avail uh, operational is available cluster is in service health is fully fit now, if I click IP settings, we are now getting IP information. Okay, so we have the infrastructure IP address, which is 165.0.1. Okay, this is the loopback IP address, by the way. Strong password check is yes. We have the out-of-band management IP address, which is 10.101.10.2 slash 24. This is the same IP address that we're using now and connected to this APIC. Okay, the default gateway is .254. Now we also have IP version 6 address here. Now if I click APIC2, APIC2 also connects to LEAF 107 and LEAF 108. If I click general, okay, you will see the APIC ID is 2. Okay, it's still under fabric ID 1. Host name is APIC2. Uh, this is the UUID. This is the firmware. Again, operational status is available. Uh, if I click IP settings, as you can see, the infrastructure IP address is now different. It's now 165.0.2. How about the out-of-band IP address management? This is now 10.101.10.3. Now, as you, what I'm going to do is I will just simply go to that IP address. Okay, let's see. If I change the last uh, host ID to .3, Okay, let's see if it will take us there. All right, as you can see, uh, we are getting a certificate error. I'll just click proceed. And yeah, we are, it is taking us to uh, this specific APIC. Now, if I log in as student 97, use the same password. Let's see if we're getting the same information. Okay, now while waiting us for uh, the login, I'll just verify. Yes, this is 10.101.10.3 and the default gateway is 10.101.10.254. Now look, if look, if you look at the dashboard, it's all the same. Okay, these are the infrastructure IP address of APIC 1, 2, and 3. So that is Cisco APIC. That's the graphical user interface we use to configure our ACI. What do you think? Do you like it? Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.